how fun is it to try to move your horse over and have to actually push on him, try and get him to move to get him to move over? Or would you rather be able to walk up to him and tap him and go over? And then they are respecting their space. You're asking them to move away. But it doesn't start when they're six years old. It starts when they are young. And we start getting them used to moving away from pressure. So when we first teach a horse to move away from pressure, we're going to put our fingers on their sides where we would have our foot normally. And so we'll be asking them, of course, you'll have a, a hold of their head. And we'll show you on the babies. They'll have a hold of their head and then you'll put pressure in their side until they move away. When they give me a shift of their weight, I ease up so they get, oh, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. So I'll try it again. They move, I let up, I try it again. If they're not responding, we put more pressure. This is groundwork that I'm doing, but it will also translate to when I'm on their back and I need them to move their hindquarters or even their front quarters, I can actually use my heels in this area to get them to move their, their legs, their feet. Well, I untied him and brought him away from the fence because if something bad was going to happen, I don't want to potentially be caught up against the fence. I'm out in the open. And I don't believe he's had uh, any training on moving away from pressure, so um, I'm going to my dad always said, go prepared to get the job done. So I'm getting the job done now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure and all I want is a weight shift away from me. I'm not going to try and get him to do a 360 degree turn the very first time. And he's also not going to like it. You'll probably see his tail swish. He may try to bite me. Sometimes they'll kick at you. Um, but you know, if it gets too severe, I may get after him pretty severely. But we'll go right back to as soon as you give away to the pressure, then I will quit. Okay? So I'm hanging on to his head because if he's going to bite me or do anything like that, I don't want him to have too much control that way. So, and sometimes if it's very severe, you can actually grab hold of their halter. And then you've got control. So I'm going to put the pressure here. And I'm increasing, oh, good boy. And let him know that was good. And so we'll try it again. And I'm only using as much pressure as I need to get him to move. And then it goes away. So we try it again. More pressure, more pressure. Good boy. I don't want him to back up. That's kind of an escape. I want him to move away from it, not back out of it. So we're going to try it again. Oh, good boy. Can you see the tail swish there? My pressure with the knife is getting less and less. And eventually, all I'll have to do is put my hand here, and he'll think, oh yeah, I gotta move. And so then you have to do the, oh, nice boy, nice boy, nice boy. We're not gonna do any moves. Now we're gonna move away from pressure. So we're going to add the pressure again. Good boy. Oh, and then he got kind of stuck right there and didn't like it too much. And then again, good boy. Now, that's all great, one side. Now we're gonna try it the other side because they have two brains. They process things sometimes differently from one side to the other. So we're going to come on this side and put pressure on the side. And he's kind of resisting, so I'm getting harder. Good boy, good boy. Okay, and we're gonna try it again. This, I think you could see on that video, he got softer, but he didn't really shift his weight other than he wanted to go back. Good boy. And if he's trying to go back, I am pulling forward on him a little bit. <laughs> My hand is loose, loose on his halter unless he starts to back up. Yeah, good boy. You didn't like that, huh? Good boy. Okay. There you go. Good boy. And again. Yeah, I'm keeping his head from getting me in. Oh, another thing. Oh, so now he's really stuck. There, good boy. So another thing, I'm staying kind of at his side. If I get right back here and try and push him, if he really doesn't like my knife in his side or my finger, whatever I'm using, sharp stick, he may kick at me. And at least right here, 
I'll be at the end of his kick or he'll completely miss me if he tries to kick me. So we try it again. Good boy. And that's lesson number one. If I'm moving him out in the open, I'll grab a hold of his halter so I have control of his head. And I'm going to put pressure on his side. He took a step with his front legs, but he didn't move his hind leg or shift the back. And so, there. So you could probably see the resistance there for a while. And then he finally said, okay, I don't like that. I'm going to move. Oh, see, he even stepped into it. There, good boy. We try it again. More pressure. More pressure. More pressure. He may kick him. There we go. And unless he actually takes a swing at me, I'm not going to be too upset if he's swishing his tail and dancing around because we're just trying to get the move. If he does something really naughty, like tries to bite me, I may slug him in the nose. Or if he kicks at me, I may whack him because he's not supposed to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try one more time and we'll go on the other side. We can be softer. Oh, that was so much nicer. Good boy. Okay, and then we'll try this side. Halter, hand on the halter. A little pressure here. Oh, that. safe because I was up at the front. If I'd been back by his hind legs, come on. Good boy. After he's done that now and he knows he's not supposed to kick at me, uh, we've all of a sudden gotten a lot softer here. So you always try for as little pressure as you can and if that doesn't work then you need to apply more until you get the desired response. Good boy. There you go. And that was a good end note to end on. We don't want to just, as they say, beat a dead horse. If he's responding well, we want to just end good, end well. The thing I want to equate that with, if he was in a herd situ situation with um, horses in the pen and he kicked at the dominant horse, that dominant horse isn't going to just kind of go, oh, well, darn, he kicked at me. That horse is going to get very upset with him and is going to put him in his place really fast. And so that's basically what I was trying to establish there is you kicked at the dominant animal and the dominant animal is going to get you. And if you do it hard enough and, and quick enough, as soon as they do it, then it's going to stick with them. But if you kind of go, oh, dang, that was bad. I need to get after him. The moment has passed. It needs to be just as fast as you can after he's kicked at you or tried to bite you or whatever. And so that's... Hopefully what you saw when I got after him. She will probably kick at me. I'm going to hang on to her head. I'm going to ask her to move over. This is Blue. He's our orphan baby who was fortunate enough after his mother passed away to have a Clydesdale mare for his nurse mom. And we just got him back a few weeks ago. He was very well taken care of, as you can see. And so we're just continuing on with the good things that they did with him while he was at their house. So I'm not sure if he was ever taught to move away from pressure. So today we'll find out and see how responsive he is. I've got a hold of his head. I'm going to apply pressure. If he moves away, I'll ease up. If he doesn't, So after I've taught them how to move away from pressure, I can then be on their back or if I'm saddling them and I need to go around to the other side, I can just come around the horse and instead of having to put my whole body into it, I can just go move over, move over, and she's moving over. And that's a whole lot easier than getting in a pushing match with a horse. Yeah, she moves easy. Some horses will actually sit there and push back. And so it's nice to just be able to 
do this to teach them and then they learn that any pressure they need to move away from it if it's on their neck they're moving away from it if it's on their head they're moving away from it if it's their hindquarters they're moving away from it Just going to ask her to move over, and away we go. So nice. Everybody needs a horse like this. How fun is it? <laughs> She's like, did you want me to move away? <laughs> This is the side you should push. <laughs> I tried to film it, but he said he didn't want to. <laughs> 